Hello YouTube, it's Grosama. And here I have the Ogre GNX. Um, now this kit, I, at first, I really was not interested in it. Um, I, I seen the promotional images, uh, I seen a couple of poses and everything, um, you know, kind of before the anime actually appeared. But, I just did not like it. I thought it looked cluttered. Um, I didn't really care for the colors. Um, it, it just it didn't it didn't work for me overall. Um, however, after seeing the episode uh, episode was it two? Yeah, episode two, uh, where you see the ogre GNX uh, pretty much battling. Um, I was actually sold. I was like, you know what? It actually looks pretty cool, especially in the anime. Uh, and then taking a couple more uh, glances at the um, the kit, I was like, you know what? It doesn't look like a bad kit. I, I, I do see some limitations in, uh, in the elbow joints. I've seen that. Um, I think the shoulders are, are pretty good. Uh, overall, the waist, the legs are, are fine for what it is. It is a very bulky suit, so I'm not expecting like dynamic poses at all. Uh, but I think it's going to get the job done for just standing out. So let's go ahead and take a look at the front cover. Uh, nothing really too crazy with the front art. You know, it's basically like uh, it's kind of slashing. Uh, and it has like the same type of um, Bill Divers, you know, like front art cover. Um, now this was released in 2018, May. Uh, so yeah, if you're watching this in 2020, um, just know that it came out in 2018 in May. Okay, I'm looking at the side of the box. Uh, you basically see the GN Ogre Swords, that it has uh, dual swords, which are pretty cool. Um, then over here, you just see like the beam effects on the shoulders as well as the forearms, which uh, I didn't I didn't even realize they came with um, beam effects on the forearms as well. So uh, I'm actually pretty stoked about that. And then uh, you can see you can lower the visor down, so. Um, I guess it's a uh, let's see Hitsu, um, Hitosumi mode. So I don't know what that mode translates to. Um, I, probably after this video, I'll go ahead and look it up on Wiki. So if y'all want to drop drop a comment, just let me know. Hey, this means this because I love you guys. You guys are definitely some of my uh, my people that look more into the lore than what I do because um, I just kind of look at the basic anime and then all the in depth stuff. You know, I kind of talk to some buddies about because. It doesn't interest me as much, but hey, if you spread the information, I can get educated. Um, then you can see that the swords can actually combine, and that's pretty that's pretty dope. Gian Ogre Twin Swords. So I actually do like that, and that that might be my, my go-to pose. Not this exact pose, but uh, having these two swords together. And then, of course, on this side, you basically see all the different um, lineups and uh, the build custom parts that you can add on to all this combo. So everything in this picture, to my knowledge, is currently released. So you get the, um, the Ace Diver Pack, which is released. You got the Momo, uh, Momo Pool, uh, that little... Actually, I don't think this little booster pack is released. I know the um, uh, CeraVe kit is released, but I don't know if that actual add-on part is released. To my knowledge, it's not. Um, but yeah, you get some parts right in there. And looking on the side, you just get a nice little rear and front shot, so it does look pretty cool. I like the uh, the red and black and the, the little bit of uh, gray and that purple, you know, center jewel. And then here's just some basic information on the uh, Ogre GNX, as well as the anime itself. This kit does retail for 2,000 yen, so it's going to roughly translate to about 20 bucks. And lastly, this is number 5. Maybe consider number six because the double diver being, uh, you know, triple O. Um, but if you want to just say it's the fifth uh, kit in the line, you can go ahead and say that. And here's everything that comes in the box. So let's go through each individual runner. Okay, and here is the first runner, which is runner D. Um, I, I don't know exactly where this one comes from. Um, maybe if y'all can check out that uh, lettering up here but I do not recall what runner this is, so um, if you can go ahead and let me know in the comments below, but this is not the GNX, this is not an original runner from the GNX. Uh, this is pretty much, uh, well, the, the GNX Ogre, sorry, Ogre GNX, so uh, this is something from an older kit. I just do not know what, it, it's definitely a GNX kit. I, I have that feeling because it obviously has a GN drive right here. Uh, but as you can see, it has like the waist parts right here, uh, GN drive. I think this is the front chest, this is the head, and um, actually not sure what this is. Could be like a shield or mm, could be for something else, but um, that's pretty much it for this runner. All right, and you're gonna get two runners for runner E. Um, but taking a look at just one of them, you are gonna get like parts for the feet and the legs. Um, and now this is still that uh, the runner from previous. So if y'all know uh, what this like uh, what kit 
pretty much has this runner, please let me know in the comments below. Next is gonna be runner C, which is basically a, uh, a very nice, it's almost like tan, like a, a tannish gray uh, runner, uh, but this is pretty much gonna have like the feet, legs, um, so you might, I think these might be, actually I think these are the legs as well. Uh, this is going to be the chest and you got probably parts for the, more chest, uh, arms and uh, feet parts, waist. Uh, so yeah, uh, I don't know exactly where this one's from as well. So if you can let me know in the comments below, that would be very, very appreciative. And then this is going to be the only runner that has any kind of relation uh, to the uh, age one Titus. So you're just gonna get all the nice little beam effects. Uh, you also get these nice uh, like Saturn rings. I think they were called like Saturn rings, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but you do get these as well, but uh, I'm pretty sure that these are not gonna fit on the, uh, the wrist. But if they do, I will go ahead and let you know in the review. Okay, so now going on to uh, all the, the GNX, uh, Ogre GNX parts right now. Uh, so you got parts for, uh, this looks like it's going to be for the, um, the shoulder, you got parts for the wrist, uh, parts for the legs, uh, I think that's the backpack right up here, uh, maybe more, more backpack parts, you got parts for the head, uh, but it's a nice little blue, um, it's like a very almost like a dark blue, almost like violet to be honest. I know it's coming off violet on the uh, on the camera, but it's kind of like a bluish violet. Um, but yeah, that's uh, runner J1. And also you get runner J2, forgot to mention that. All right, next you're gonna get runner I1 and I2. Uh, so it's just gonna be the smaller parts. Looks like it's gonna be for the uh, the feet right there. Um, and then you got parts for the head. I uh, don't really know what this is. This might be uh, parts for the uh, upper, um, upper body for the uh, the shoulders uh, and this looks like it's going to be the uh, the collar uh, part right there but it's a nice little red um, it's a little bit brighter than most reds I've seen um, and I, I'm really just automatically looking at this and not you know seeing the manual first I could definitely tell there's gonna be a lot of different uh, well, a lot of parts that are just not going to be used overall in this kit all right next we're gonna get runner k1 and k2 um, so basically gonna be open hands right here some different hands uh, there's gonna be parts for the uh, the actual sword this looks like it's gonna be I don't know what that parts gonna be for looks like it might be for the shoulders if I'm not mistaken um, then you got parts for the feet right here and and that looks to really be about it. And here is runner L2, which is another GNX part. Uh, so you can see it's just basically the um, the center chest piece right here, and you're also gonna get a clear part for the eyes. And then here is uh, the next runner, which is L1. Uh, these are gonna be for the clear blades, which looks really dope. Um, actually, I really, really do like them. Oh, you can see my face. And then the last runner you're gonna be getting is just basically your polycap sheet, so uh, nothing really too out of the ordinary right here. And the sticker sheet is not really like it's hefty, um, but it's really not that bad in my opinion. Um, so obviously I can easily paint like this um, this tan stuff, like grayish tan color. Uh, the red's gonna be easy as well, but I don't have any purple in my collection, so I'm gonna have to go out and uh, get some purple paint so that way I can hand paint uh, the center part as well as the eyes. Uh, but other than that, I mean, looks looks okay. It's not really that many stickers, but uh, just be you know conscious of hey, these are actually what you're gonna be getting as, as far as like stickers. So if you do need paints, uh, these are gonna be the colors right here. All right, and you get this little advertisement brochure. Um, to me, I was actually just not even gonna include this in the, uh, the, the, the overall unboxing, but uh, the key note here is that this is my birthday. <laughs> I just wanna throw that out. Uh, but yeah, 926, uh, my birthday, so the Blu-ray box will be on sale. Um, if this actually comes with English subtitles, um, I, I may get it, but I'm not too sure. Um, I don't. I don't know what all it's gonna come with because I know sometimes these Blu-ray boxes have like some nice little things in it, uh, whether it is artwork or it actually might get bundled with a kit. Uh, but I definitely want to check it out. And then you got some other stuff over here, just saying like, hey, now on sale. Some of the other Bill Fighters, Bill Fighters Try. You got the OVA. Um, uh, you got the Battle Log. So uh, GM's uh, Counterattack. So uh, I would definitely like to get these uh, on Blu-ray. I would just not. I would rather get them if they have uh, English subtitles. And then lastly here is the manual, so uh, nothing really too spectacular there. I'm actually more interested to see uh, what all is going to be omitted in this kit because that's kind of like the big thing. So we got uh, the X's for the Saturn rings, which I pretty much expected. You got some X's over here, X's for like those little shield bits, uh, as parts for the head, the waist, uh, some of the poly caps, but mostly it's just going to be uh, these like four runners uh, right over here. So 
that's really about it. Uh, not really too much is going to be omitted, but uh, no, uh, pretty much noteworthy is going to be runner C. There's a lot of parts, uh, pretty much like right here, and then runner D is going to be some parts all over here that's going to be omitted. But other than that, you get your basic manual, so nothing really too crazy. Uh, and then over here, you get your uh, color guide as well as some nice little poses and information on the weapon sets as well as just the mobile suit itself and then more of the lineup and build custom. So that's it, guys. Um, and also some color guide over here and the little gimmicks. But that's it. Uh, I cannot promise you I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to make this review this week because uh, I haven't even started on this kit. I'm still working on the EF91. So once I get this kit done, then uh, get this kit done, reviewed, then I can go ahead and start working on this kit. And uh, this should only take me like a day to build because I'm not really going to do uh, anything too crazy to this. Um, unless I'm probably not going to do much at all, uh, just the basics. So uh, definitely expect that. Uh, and just just to let y'all know, since we're kind of like at the video, I can kind of talk about this. Um, the reason in particular that it's taken me so long to to do these things, uh, as far as like making uh, putting these reviews out, I am a very 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 busy person, so I'm not trying to like make make an excuse or anything. Um, but I I I run an entire dining facility that serves um, usually around like. 300 people per uh, well 300 people breakfast lunch and then uh, usually around like 150 people uh, for dinner so I manage uh, an entire dining facility that's kind of like my job uh, in the military and not just that but I am in the military so there's a lot of different duties and tasks that I am assigned to um, so like this week I have uh, a lot of things I need to take care of and um, you know I just I don't have all the time available to work on kits so I'm not really trying to make that as an excuse but if I am a little bit slower on the review uh, a lot of times I have to deal with that and I also have to work out you know like I love working out I do it all the time um, and then I want to spend time with the wife so yeah just it be conscious like I know a lot of guys are saying hey I, I want this review you know when when's the F91 when's the GNX Ogre you know I want to see the review now uh, just please be patient um, and, and definitely understand that I have a lot of things I need to take care of but um, and also I don't do straight builds well I don't, I don't do straight builds. Uh, I like to do some kind of detailing to all my kits. So it might take a little more time than normal to really get these reviews out because uh, this one in particular, there's some nice little like kind of gold shading I'm gonna do to it just to kind of like uh, help, help out with the after image effects. Um, but overall, I really do like this. And if you wanna see the lights, I have the lights like that. Just so, giving y'all giving a little sneak preview right now. So. These uh, these lights are pretty dope. I actually like it. I just have to. I, I would, if I was like really serious about this, I would have to paint this because the light kind of like seeps out uh, through the plastic itself. Um, but other than that, well, it bleeds out through the plastic. So that's it, guys. Um, definitely, thanks for watching. I'll be in Osaka this weekend, so I'm probably still gonna upload or schedule some uploaded videos uh, over the weekend. But um, I'm really just gonna plan on relaxing with the the family. I may I may make a vlog in Osaka as well as Kobe, but um, definitely don't expect really too much this weekend. But come next week, we got a whole bunch of stuff going on, so definitely just stay tuned for that. Uh, but that's it, guys. Definitely thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the review. Bye-bye.